So what I have are, I have my spinning wheel here, and I have pieces of a sweater that I've taken apart. So this is the back of the sweater, and I have the front of the sweater and each of the sleeves, and I'm unraveling them to make uh, what is a very thin uh, yarn. It's cashmere yarn, and it's extremely thin, so it's too thin to use uh, to make back into something. So I'm plying it on my spinning wheel. So I'm basically twisting the four different threads that I have coming from the four different pieces back together into one thicker piece of yarn that I can actually use to make back into something. Do you know what uh, this is going to become eventually? No, I don't. Um, you know, it, it really depends on what I feel like making, or it might not even be, you know, it might not be me that ends up making something with it. It might be that it goes to somebody else and they can make a sweater out of it or a scarf or a hat or a pair of mittens. I have a pair of mittens here that I actually made from a different sweater that I took apart and recycled. So yeah, it's, there's no limit. It can become, you know, anything that you can imagine. It's, for me, it's a hobby. I, um, I do it because I, I like to knit a lot and it's a good source of quality fiber recycled sweaters are so what I look for are sweaters that you know the fiber is in great condition but it's a sweater that may not be considered you know fashionable or maybe it's just was never a popular you know cut or something like that so usually I just source sweaters from thrift stores places like that that, that you would go to find used clothing already so if um, if people are looking to donate clothes to that I would say I'm certainly not the only person who's doing this so the best place to send them is to Goodwill, Salvation Army, any place like that that's, that's going to resell them. The yarn that I don't use for my own projects, I sell to people who are also looking to use recycled yarn. So what I have is an Etsy store, and that's at yarnagain.etsy.com. Uh, just that it's a lot of fun, and uh, you know, if, you're, if you think you should try it, then if it's something you're interested in, definitely give it a try. You don't need a spinning wheel to do it. You can do it just with your own hands, just pulling the yarn out of the sweater. This is just a way that I like to do it, so do whatever works for you.